Today on the show, we're taking a look at the Savage Dragon number two from July 1993, the Savage Dragon versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, guys, as I said today, we're taking a look at the Savage Dragon number two from July 1993. The Savage Dragon versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a bit con deceiving, uh, as many verses and crossovers are. The book is very thick, okay? Pretty thick. So it's very deceiving. It's actually a double-sided book. Three stories, I believe. Three or four stories. Yeah, three stories plus... Artwork and stuff, uh, pinups, stuff like that. This story here is actually very short. It revolves around the dragon has been um, temporarily transferred to New York City uh, in order to hunt down some gargoyle creature that's been attacking uh, older women, stuff like that. And he come, gets uh, attacked by the Ninja Turtles who mistake him for the Gargoyle. And anyway, the five end up teaming up. Gargoyle attacks. And they shatter the Gargoyle. And that's pretty much it. There is a side story of a superhero from Detroit uh, named Dart being enlisted by the Chicago Police Department to help out whenever Dragon is gone. Uh, Savage Dragon was creator, writer, penciler, inker, Eric Larson, letterer, Chris Iliopoulos, colorist, Steve Olaf and Ruben Rood, editor, Jan Janny Wong. Uh, backstory, uh, the side story is Star, also by Eric Larson and all them. Uh, and then, we've got the publisher and all that, and then the back... We'll get into that later. Um, the artwork isn't bad. It's your typical Image Comics style. Uh, it is Image Comics, but also Mirage. So Dark gets called in to help the Chicago PD uh, while Dragon is gone. And as I said here, Dragon's in New York. He's been called to New York to help out help track down the gargoyle. Uh, the Ninja Turtles mistake him for the gargoyle and attack. And they don't really stand much of a chance. Um, they he really he tosses them around like a bunch of rag dolls. And it's pretty much just a two page fight. Then he uh, tells them he's a police officer. They realize he's the dragon, and they team up, and then Gar Gar uh, Dragon spends most of the time pretty much playing babysitter to them. Uh, then the gargoyle attacks, and they team up and fight the gargoyle. Dragon destroys the gargoyle. Um... Dragon's ready to call it a day. Uh, the Ninja Turtles aren't f so sure. They believe someone's been, someone else was pulling the strings, which obviously in the shadows right here, you know, they don't see her, but she sees them. And then in DeKalb, Illinois, which is about three hours away from where I live, uh, we're about three hours south of DeKalb and Chicago and all them. Uh, you get this kid who goes into a house, finds people slaughtered, and then a voice from in a closet or something like that. So, anyway. Uh, the artwork was very nice. The artwork was pretty cool. But, this is the story right here. It's not very long at all. Um... I mean, I guess by today's standards, um, yeah, it, 
even by today's standards, you know, the stories are getting shorter and shorter. Uh, it, it's still pretty short by today's standards. And then we got some pinups here. There's another crossover between Savage Dragon and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, part 2, Catch the Butt Kicking Gargoyle Smash and Conclusion on sale in September from Mirage Publishing. So, um, nice pinup work. Another nice pinup. Do you guys remember uh, the Savage Dragon cartoon animated series that used to air on USA back in the 90s? Uh, that's actually what introduced me to Savage Dragon. Yeah, tilt this down. Uh, I had no clue who Savage Dragon was until I saw that animated series. It was pretty cool. But like many of the USA Network uh, Cartoon Express animated series, it wasn't long lived. You know, it was. It aired alongside Mortal Kombat, Defenders of the Realm, um, <clears throat> Wildcats, uh, Highlander, the animated series, um, Problem Child, the animated series, uh, stuff like that. Really good cartoons that didn't last long because they weren't on a typical network. That was aimed at kids. Uh, one of the backstories was Star. Uh, it takes place. This story takes place at the same time as Savage Dragon versus the Ninja Turtles. Because Star mentions about every time Dragon is out of town, um, the vicious guys from the vicious circle always seem to strike when he's out of town. Um, it kind of reminds me of Spider-Man. Uh, maybe a cross between Spider-Man and the look of Kane. Not Kane from WWE, but uh, Kane before he became Scarlet Spider. The 90s always had a thing of guys in full, full face masks with their hair showing. I'm not sure why it was, but it did kind of look cool. Anyway, that was another pretty short story. Some more pinups here, very nice. Got Super Patriot. Um, I'm not sure who that guy is. I don't remember. If you know, leave it in the comments below. Uh, wasn't his name Overlord, uh, Dragon's Arch Enemy? And yeah, there's Star there. And then. Yeah. We have the alternate side uh, it's pretty much this cover but with this dude ripping through it Vanguard number zero I have not read it um, the art look the artwork looks pretty cool also by Eric Larson um, not bad uh, it's also got Savage Dragon in it, so I may have to check. And it's also got Dark Hawk in it. Or I mean Shadow Hawk. I'm sorry, Shadow Hawk. Uh, I may have to check it out. Uh, the Universal Studios Monsters, Jason Voorhees. A <laughs> um, few other cameos. Kind of reminds me of Deathlock, or the Death Head, Death's Head series. Uh, when Death's Head would create robotic versions of Earth's heroes to uh, spar against, I guess. That's kind of what that seems like. But it's not a very long story either. They're there. Not long at all. So, overall, the artwork on this was pretty good. The story wasn't bad. It was just really short. Uh, also, since there was a Savage Dragon Ninja Turtles crossover 2, I'm not sure if 
it's going to be a sequel or if it was a sequel or if they were going the route of like spawn batman batman spawn uh and all that where just a different version of the same story i guess you could say uh, made by that like this is obviously an image comic uh, whereas the other one could be uh, is more likely a mirage comic standalone comics you know like with uh, the Batman spawn the first one that was done by Frank Miller uh, the one the more popular one uh, is actually set in the Miller verse and it has the Batman and spawn riding the lightning uh, on the front cover that's one story the other story which takes place which was released about the same time uh maybe a little bit after uh, is also the first meeting between the two uh, in the image version batman was more violent in the dc version spawn was more violent so uh, i'm not sure if that's what they're doing here but anyway there you have it guys the Savage Dragon number two, Savage Dragon versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm Shannon for Comic Gun TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Take care, my friends.